Korean Ferry Disaster, Faces of the Sewol. The South Korean ferry disaster, which has almost certainly claimed hundreds of lives, is all the more tragic given the heroism of some and the cowardice of others. 22-year-old Park Ji Young, a crew member and cafeteria worker, was on duty that day. Most of the ship's passengers were with her in the ship's third deck recreation area. The person at the helm was an inexperienced 26-year-old third mate named Park Hyun Kul. This was her first time navigating this route. Meanwhile, Captain Lee Jun Suk had gone back to his quarters when disaster struck. Terrified students recalled how Park Ji Young helped them find their way to safety as the ship began to sink, telling them to head for the fourth deck. As the ferry rapidly took on water, Captain Lee told passengers to stay where they were. Trusting the crew, many passengers heeded the advice and waited for rescue even as the water rose. But Park gathered life jackets for the high schoolers and got many of them to rescue boats. They pleaded for her to join them. After saving you, I will get out. The crew goes out last, Park told them, not keeping a life jacket for herself. Yet Captain Lee and the young woman piloting the ferry scuttled themselves off the doomed ship onto the safety of rescue boats. Park went back inside. There were still nearly 300 people who hadn't found a way out. But it was too late. The ship took less than two hours to fully capsize. Those people remain trapped. Authorities believe most have either drowned or suffocated. Rescue crews pulled whoever they could from the water, dead or alive. Ji Young Park was found floating face down. She was dead. Four of the ship's crew, including Captain Lee and the third mate, are under arrest and will face charges for failing to help passengers. A doctor at the rescue base says the captain identified himself as a passenger after his rescue. Hoping that Park Ji Young's name is remembered long after Lee's is forgotten, some South Korean web users are asking the government to allow Park to be buried in the National Cemetery, a place normally reserved for past presidents and war heroes.